Generally, I don't like recording my voice over the paper dolls. I just want to get them done and stick them up there and <laughs> say, hey, look, you know, this is how I colored it. Do it your way. But I decided to record the process of me making All Might on my computer and then coloring it and putting it together. Now, if you don't know who All Might is, you can watch the anime My Hero Academia. I mean, it's okay. It's not necessarily my cup of tea on anime, but I did watch the whole series. It's alright. I don't know. To me, the, the hero itself, the boy that's becoming the next All Might, I don't know. He's too much of a crybaby wimp, in my opinion. But a lot of people like that. So, eh. anyways, I still, I, I mean, it's not my top favorite anime, but it's okay of an anime if you like the school type with the cliche bully and the cliche whiny crybaby, and it's got a lot of cliches in it. Anyways. I am, honestly, I am horrible at male anatomy. <laughs> Maybe someday I might actually have to do some studies on it to try to get better at it, but eh. I have too much going on right now. <laughs> Here I'm just cleaning up a little bit of the excess lines. And now the part I was dreading the most of all is the chest area. It's not exactly easy for me. It's like I don't have any good reference. I feel awkward sometimes when I'm searching pictures for references. It's like, well, you know. <laughs> but it's okay. Now I realized when I was coloring, I didn't realize it when I was drawing it, but when I was coloring it, I forgot to continue. He has like these red and white patches from his waist down to his mid thigh, I guess. And I totally forgot to draw it in. So I'm gonna have to go back later and actually fix the, the file that I've made. Cause I just, I don't know, for some other reason I completely forgot he has those on his legs. Oh well. And then I try to get an idea of a little bit of what All Might looks like in his, you know, masculine buff form. His hero form or whatever you want to call it. Um, it's not perfect, but... It kind of gives you the idea of it's all night. It's not necessarily meant to be, you know, 100% exact. But it's a good, I think, a good impersonation <laughs> of all night. Here I decided might as well start drawing All Might when his ex his power has been extinguished for the short period of times. Cause as he gave his power away, and then he ends up 
he can only hold it, hold on to it for a short period of time. And he's getting injured more and, wow. So I decided, let's do two forms so where you can interchange different pieces of them. So maybe, you know, he's halfway buff and halfway skin and bones and everything's all loose and falling apart or he's half skin and bones and he's starting to go he summons up all his energy just to have the last little bit of power to pound someone I don't, I don't know and I do know I am not not only am I not good with male anatomy I am totally not good with drapey you know gathered loose fitting clothes apparently because I was having a really hard time figuring out something that made it look somewhat normal but I think I ended up making it too big at the end but eh. you know what creative liberties that's what this is <laughs> I know the more I'll do it, I mean, I'll get better at it over time, but I'm not really trying to perfect anything right now. <laughs> I don't know about y'all, but in this form, I swear he looks like a skeleton, skeleton type <laughs> look on him. I mean, his personality I think is a lot better than when he's in this form. I don't like the over the top, you know, hero persona that he is trying to per. Oh my goodness, words are escaping me. Persona. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, he's got a better attitude when he is all, you know, skin and bones. And the funny thing is, I remembered that the red and white are on this one, so I drew it in, and I forgot on the main one. I, I still can't get over that. I forgot to put that in. to draw his Einstein hair uh, that kind of his hair is all wacky and all over the place so it kind of reminds me of those pictures that you see of Einstein <laughs> but trying to get it working is I don't know it's funny how when I was doing this I was thinking if you know who Rhett and Link is from Good Mythical Morning one of their earlier videos before they came became so famous like they are it they did a um made up a song where Rhett would sing his hair goes up and link would sing that his hair goes down so i was singing that song to myself when i was drawing, drawing their hair it was kind of funny in my opinion Now another hard part, trying to figure out how to fit all the different pieces for both onlines on the same page. I mean, I could have done it where they were on two different pages, but then I thought, well, maybe it'd probably be easier to color it when it's all together on one page. So I was trying to fit them in there and boy, did I cram them in there. They barely, barely just fit. <laughs> Now I'm trying to, I always like to put some sort of a little mini picture of the whole thing on it, even though it's kind of hard to see, it's because I had to make it smaller on this one, because there was no room. But I was like, well, that way you could just kind of look at it for a slight reference. And then I sped this up really well, a lot, when I was doing this one. But I wanted to kind of use Sharpies, but I really don't have skin tones for Sharpies. And then I have to like layer 
two colors of Sharpie, the, like a pink and a yellow to try to get us somewhat of a skin tone, but I'm like, eh, I'll just use my alcohol markers that I've got, but I really need new alcohol markers because I've used mine so much that the color is starting to dry out on a lot of colors. And these are not the refillable type. So I didn't really do any shading on him. All I did was I just put in block colors just to get the idea of it being all my is all I've done. Now I did use a white gel pen just to fix a lot of the bleeding and the white parts that I didn't like, but I didn't do any highlights or anything like that. And cutting them out, that was a lot of pieces to cut out. It's basically you're cutting out two separate dolls in one. So there was a lot of pieces. <laughs> Now the quickest way to assemble a doll is I use my 2mm hole punch and I use my little mini brads to put them together. One day I'll probably make a video showing different ways to assemble it, not using this method, but right now I have too many to do. I gotta do it this way. Now before I put the legs and arms on these, I always say that they're interchangeable. So if you wanted you know, All Might to have his big old burly arms, he can have his burly arms, no problem. Or if you want him to look like he's starting to lose his power and he blew up his sleeve while he punched the wall or something, he ain't got no more, you know, he can. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Or maybe you know, he can have his, you know, skinny, blown up arm there, or all of a sudden out of nowhere, you know, he's halfway gone, or got his strength back. Oh. <laughs> but yeah, all the legs and arms can be interchanged with 
other bodies. They don't have to stay on the same doll. But I'm going to put them together the way they were. I intended them to, to begin with. 